Good morning or welcome me. Welcome to my channel. What is all this mess? <laughs> so I have for you some tips for beginner friendly who are starting in watercolor or uh, like want to dive into gouache. Um, a lot of people do this type of videos. I did it based on upon on a request. Um, I just look around at things that I have. Now I was trying to think back, what did I buy? Like I said before, I was very lucky and you guys should also take some tips. Don't just limit yourself to what I have here. Um, look around your area. Look at like Hobby Lobby, your local Michaels. Hobby Lobby is less expensive, I'll tell you that. But Michaels does have those excellent coupons, which you could come away with high quality products at like for barely anything i mean come on i've done it go check their clearance section as well that's the first thing i do when i go to michael's um so yeah the first things first um so take this with the grain of salt take them you know as tips and then but also look around shop around um make your list on amazon make your list on blig check jackson's i don't recommend any more jackson's for the u.s people because now you have to buy a large quantity in order to get um, in order to pay us a very small percentage of shipping, like a five, six dollar, or like maybe four, before they would just give you. I think if you before, if you hit like around sixty some dollars, they would ship it for you for free. Now they don't do that. I do believe, regardless, um, brushes are still shipped for free. So you might want to check out to see if you like order a brush with them. And if you get something else, it will still ship for free. But I know brushes on itself, they will ship for free worldwide. It doesn't matter. So, okay. So first things first. I have here uh, a lot of brushes. Now, with, with brushes, I will tell you this. I used a flat for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I started with, like, I think it was this one. Um, this is a shader Princeton art. I didn't buy this. This came, I used to buy when I first started, I bought a lot of like, um, art, uh, art boxes and they were fairly cheap. And, um, this is where it came from. It came now, if you want to buy art, um, boxes, you, you may, you can, they're still fairly cheap. Um, Palefo packs. It's here in California, and they will charge you five dollars plus three of tax, so seven bucks before plus what? However, the box costs, they would um, charge you that much. So sometimes it's better to just to shop at Amazon because it's free shipping. Um, but if you if you decide to get a couple of the boxes, I will say get at least three boxes. Um, or two at the at the um, at the least because um, they will have everything that you need and try to get the ones that you're attracted to but also the ones that have a lot of items so you'll have a variety that's kind of what I did a lot of my stuff is gone because I gave it away but um, yeah because you know either I use it or I didn't use it so I actually so don't limit yourself so I got this was um this brush right here is called HMM. Um this is the last brush I have. I bought this set for four dollars and it was a set of six. I got it at the Nordstrom Rack, if you guys can believe that. Um so yeah, do shop around and see. And I actually I used a flat one of this. I mean I used it to death and it still did it worked just fine. But then I, I decided to move on with my brushes. So any of the Princeton's, this one, it was $10. It's a number A round. Any of the Princeton's will do. I bought this um, open, like on Amazon. And this one, obviously, you know, it came from uh, a pack. This one I bought for $7 also through Amazon. If you, if you don't plan to buy the Princeton brushes, um, like a, kind of like a, a pack then i would suggest you um you buy them open stock and this is a dagger which i barely use but i would definitely most use it's a very useful brush um know this that if you buy them on on um on a 
on a um oh my god i can't think oh, on a pack like on like you know a certain pack that they will they already going to be included it's just different brushes so if you buy them open stock just be mindful of that um this one i got also in one of the art snacks or something this is a really cool brush this is a uh, king art but i think you could find king art just anywhere it is like a like a oval petal and i do believe now the princeton velvet touch series has one that look like this and it comes in like in a three or four pack and it's quite pricey so i'm glad i got this i actually had a few of these and i gave them a lot of them away i only kept this one but yeah it's quite useful this one's a really nice one too um this one's a princeton oval mop this one i did buy um you could like i said you there's also um a whole selection of this this type on amazon and it's pretty cheap it's like 12 dollars, so it's really soft I use I have two of these one of them I use it for oils and the other one is designated for um, mixed media but it, yeah it's really soft and it's really nice and you could just take it anywhere it's kind of small um, this one I got for free this is a Princeton aqua Elliot. this is really really nice I think it's around 10 to 12 dollars um, by itself and like I said you cannot go wrong with the any of the Princeton's so let's say you don't have anything, just get a Prince, any Princeton. This is really nice. It's like the Velvet Touch. It has a really, really nice um, wind handle to it. Um, also, oh, sorry you guys, like my camera keeps sliding and I put in my hand. So uh, here, I'm just going to talk like this. So this one is a Skoda. This is a set that I got, which for um from a and thank god from a youtuber jackie she was actually going through a lot of her stuff from jackson's art and that day she happened to check this was like a year and a half ago she happened to check jackson jackson's art and they happened to have this whole set for 30 dollars. so i snatched i snatched it and like i said it was free shipping so i didn't have to pay shipping um and it does come this is this is what i was talking about that you could easily afford escoda um so these two are escoda perla and this made by this joseph subich so this is a number 12 round the big one and then the little one is uh number eight um number eight round as well and you can see this one i use this one not so much but they're both really good they're synthetic and see how snappy they are so when you're starting out, try to start out with something snappy because the, now this is what I, th this came and I do believe it now they have it on Amazon and it's $34. So this is a travel brush. These are regular brushes. So variety is what you want, especially when you're starting out. So this is a very nice travel brush as you can see, it's Coda. So this Although it's synthetic here, it's not snappy. It's very, it's it's almost, it's very close to um, to the, it's mimicking, basically, it's high quality synthetic, mimicking synthetic squirrel. And trust me, when you, um, when you wet it, it's very much, it's very, very soft. So sometimes it's a little bit to handle. It does come to a fine point. All the Skoda's, Trouble brushes come to a fine point, no matter how big or small they are. So this is a very versatile brush, and it is a little bit heavy, but it's really nice. And when you wet it, you could just, it has a little hole. Just be careful with the, not to, see it has a little hole. And so if it's wet, when you put it back, it won't go bad on you. And see, and then you're ready to go it's very it's very like i said very very high quality so um and um so yeah this is this is a good set to have um especially when you're starting out i couldn't believe and by this time i already had this was my second set i already had bought the travel set which the travel set like i said before i have not seen the 50 52 53 dollars that i had bought it for um, through Jackson's 
but now they have on my Amazon. Now this one was, it was a day that I was going through also same person from Canada, Jackie. I was going through her like suggested stuff. Like I guess people could make profiles that when they're Amazon, um, when they're Amazon um, affiliated. And she, she had this on her thing and I clicked on it and that day it was like $16. For a number 16 um, versatile uh, travel brush and this one's bigger than this one see I, I couldn't believe it so I snatched it from Amazon and sure enough it got to me like in a day or two so keep your eye open you don't know from where but yeah so this was a very good steal because this one by itself I checked it out in Jackson it's like around 25 30 dollars on its own because it's travel brushes are more expensive keep that in mind but they are very nice and very versatile i um i don't um how do i say it i love my skoda travel brushes i they're for me they're the best of the best and i do have a another travel brush which was 20 dollars and a lot smaller than a lot smaller than even this one and um it's from tintoretto that i bought from jackson's just to try out and it's very skinny. I like it because it's gold. But yeah, it's definitely not um, as high quality as this. Um, also, uh, let me get another travel set for you guys. That is within budget range. Okay, I'm back. So I got this through Amazon. It was $20. It's a Mimic Synthetic Squirrel. This is a little pouch and it comes like this. So this is... Um, an affordable travel set it has one two three four five five travel brushes and they're all different i've used it before see um and it's really good it's good quality as well um this is a number three around and it's very similar to the Skoda's, except these are a lot smaller but i like the you know I like the versatility of it and i remember that's why i bought it. i got it through amazon but you could also get it to jerry or rama um see that's it's um it's very good they also have regular brushes like these um this is also a round this is a number a number six which is kind of smaller i think this one had it's a see it has a flat that's why I do suggest if you're on a budget, like most of you beginners will be, um, this is a good set to have. You could also get it from Jerry or Roma for like $12. There is another Jerry's in Texas as well. So if like, let's say you're going to go in person. So yeah, see, very good. Um, this is a long still, I think the only flat is the one that I show you. Yeah. And these are like the mostly detail brushes, like very small, a number two. So this is um, this is a good, very good little see little travel set that you could definitely get on a budget, and you don't have to break the bank or anything, and it's very versatile. So and it comes with a little pouch. I, it's very soft, and I keep it around because sometimes. On feel, when I'm lazy to get a brush, I just get this one and I work on my item. See how it's not very snappy. It's very soft. So yeah, this this will be like a good Escoda dupe <laughs> in case you cannot get your hands on an Escoda travel brush or a set. And here you go. You have a travel set. Um, people like the Fuimi ones, but I think these are good quality. And like I said, they're very, very similar to their, just like the Escoda. So I like that. Now let's go on to watercolor. So if you're on a budget, the first thing I bought was this mailing. This, this is obviously it's empty. It's not the original mailing. I gave out the original mailing, but as you may saw, I got the buy one, get one free. Now there's a lot of mailing sets. This used to be called um, Pretty Excellent. Now they change it off just to Mei Ling. But it used to be called Pretty Excellent. Oh, look, I have, I have a little scratch ah, on my tin. And it's brand new tin, by the way. Anyway. Um, 
yeah, I don't like my tins to be scratched. I just don't like this one. That's what I was scratched. So this is a 36 set and it's it, they're now individual plants as you just look back at my video where actually I think I did I unboxed it and then I showed you on shorts. So and it's very 36 uh half pants, just regular watercolors, very good quality, very good quality for student grade. It almost border artist grade. Um so Keep that in mind. It's a very, 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 and then you'll have a tin. So when you're done with those watercolors, now Amazon has a reef, and now, I'm sorry, Paul Rubin decided to uh, have a re uh, set of tubes to refill in the future. But let's say you didn't want to refill, you just keep the half pants and just pour in new artist gray watercolors that you decided to go on, on with. So, um, yeah, so this is my recommendation, and this is only. It is twenty dollars, but sometimes you could get it for fifteen, or the buy one get one free, like I did. So yeah, you can't go wrong with this one. They're very, very, very good, um, good ones. Also, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is cheap. This is a ceramic flower. Everywhere else, you'll find it, including Amazon, for like ten, twelve dollars. Um, it's only six dollars. I believe in um, Hobby Lobby. I bought it. I'm yet to use it. And it's very small. Versatile just in case you need to pour your watercolors or whatever. And you could take it with you also. It's it's very it's very light. Um, I have this. This is oil pastels water soluble from Crayola. They're $10. 24. Or they're so soft and buttery. You could also use the Mongeo. I didn't like the Mongeo because they were more... There was more um, when you rub them. There was more dust in them or whatever, like residue. But these ones were far more cleaner, and they're made in Spain, so that will mean they're. I think they're better quality in my humble view. You also seen this recently, my Rosa gouache. In case you, you know, you wanna try out gouache when you're starting out, but you don't wanna get any of the Hemi sets. Uh, because they'll, you're afraid they'll dry out, just get this one, Rosa Studio, um, 12 cent, 20 millimeter, and it's ten dollars. So you cannot go wrong um, with this and the little tubes, and they're good quality as well. Um, I have this for you. Uh, if you need 30 sheets of paper, they're uh, 8.3 times by 5.8, 100 cotton. I got this on Amazon and it's only like around eight dollars, like around nine dollars. So it's it's really good. So when you're starting out and you hear a hundred percent con, a hundred percent con, there you go. You could just start straight out. I also have like I made this journal, but you could also make it like make it yourself. So this is uh Strathmore mixed media black watercolor paper not 100 percent cotton but it is mixed media and it's very very good and you can make your own yeah, each pad the pad is really large so this i fold them in half and i still cut um some like about this much wide in it so yeah so they're quite large it's like smooth um so yeah you can make your own own or you could just leave it as the pad and you could use it like i said the pad it's like this large the sheets like this large so yeah you'll get and it's only six dollars something through amazon um don't ever get the small pad get the big big pad because the small pad is it's a very small and the value there's you'll pay more for that i also have this um fiber castell uh jumbo um I like these because they're jumbo and you don't need as many. One, two, three, four, five. And they come this in this little, this beautiful little tin. They are uh, water based. Um, what is it? Uh, do sketch. Um, they are, they're, um, they're water based, which I didn't know. A lot of graphite is water based. So this is water based. I have another set of Stettler, which are twelve. You could also get those for like I think now it's twelve dollars. I got them for like seven. This was two years ago, but this one I got it for nine dollars. So yeah, 
it's a uh, and it's HB 2B 4B 6B um, AB so yeah it's it's a really good and like I said you always want to look for a little tin something to keep your stuff especially pencils where they don't just roll all over and stuff like that but yeah now I have a couple of other things and then that's it so like I said take this with a grain of salt this is just a suggestion um, look for other videos people always tell you this and that whatever your, your thing is just do it so you recently saw me that I actually bought this Turner gouache the reason I'm featuring them for um, for a beginner it's because you could get it a you could get it through Amazon there's uh, 24 I think I, there's a 12 set but I got the 24 set it is um, 20 millimeters made in Japan the colors are beautiful and if you water it down you could use them more or less like watercolors that's the reason that I they're featuring here now this set right now is it's I, I think it's 40 no fifty dollars but just wait until it goes down and I got it was down for like 34 and I got it for 39 so 25 millimeters goes a long way with the 24 and then you could learn how to mix you could leave it as like wash but actually like if it has a it has a density of when you water it down like watercolor but yeah so that's the reason that is in here and like i said you could just get a little cup like this and you could keep it by your desk and these colors are so beautiful so and it's the turner designer squash um, um also making a cameo is this liquitex acrylic ink i bought it by itself 30 millimeters and it's the gold because we like you know how we like to use like gold for everything um just one I got it through Amazon. It's still three dollars and some change. So, um, in case you want to make some cards or you need just an accent and you only have, you know, you're on a budget, you could easily get this through Amazon. It's within your reach. I actually put a water in it because it's so thick. It's so thick, you guys. A little goes a long way. This is one of my favorite golds, um, along with the Kiritaki paste. Now. But yeah, I had to put a lot of water into this one. I reach for this one quite a lot. And just from experience, the Liquitex, anything you buy Liquitex and, and uh, um, I have three acrylic inks, which I would not buy anymore because I like acrylic inks from uh, from another brand. But they, I still have them two years and a half later. And they go a long way. So these are, they're just so pretty. I'm going to get the gold and the, I mean the bronze and the silver and yeah it's in another of this this one it's so pretty so who doesn't have three dollars and some change so anyway this is kind of my suggestion i hope you guys you know do what you need to do and get whatever you want to get but yeah but make sure that so i budget this at a hundred dollars but you could easily budget yourself at fifty dollars it just depends what you want to buy and you know and what you want to get so i gave you a wrench i hope you guys um enjoy this i'll link a lot of this stuff a lot of it i got it through amazon so i'll try to link it below and you know and see what you want to get but also look at other people's videos a lot of them are going to give you color pencils and all that i don't i didn't i don't know what you guys are into because those for me i wasn't into color pencils or watercolor pencils until a year later so yeah so that you will have to research on your own but um faber castell has good watercolor pencils and i know derwin um i used a lot of derwin ones um the uh the regular ones so the ones that i feature in here that they're ink based but they're life fast so yeah so anyway i hope you guys like this video i'll see you guys in another video on friday bye bye